Welcome back, folks. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Tropico 4 Interactive Version. Our situation has improved immensely from like just a couple of episodes ago. That's all thanks to thanks to this. I'm not a smoker myself, and I don't even like, honestly fathom why anyone would want to be, but yeah, I'm loving the cigar factory. Oh, by the way, that's just a personal opinion, and I'm not going to like, uh, say that no one should be allowed to smoke or crap like that. It's a personal choice. What I'm actually I'm going to say is that I'm deliriously happy about the um, uh, laws that were passed in my country just a couple of years ago, which banned um, smoking in public places such as bars. It means that I can actually go to bars and not feel like a train wreck the next day, because what I found out was that if I went and had a few beers, I got a horrible, uh, like, what I thought was hangover. But in reality, I got like huge headaches, and it was all because I spent so much time in the, the cigarette smoke, like passive smoking, and like mess it, mess with my head a heck of a lot. So. Nowadays, I can actually enjoy going out, which is brilliant. I love it. Yes, yes, eight deaths last year from poor healthcare, which these guys should take care of quite soon. Hopefully, at least. Do I have some other government buildings that I can actually... Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Oh well, I don't need to worry about that, honestly. Mm, this is actually... Here's the thing, this business center that just unlocked I think a couple of years ago, or maybe even this year, it's not a food and resource building and it's not an industrial building. But it is a huge money maker and it offers like, jobs up the arse. Uh, shopping mall is uh, again in my view almost completely useless, simply because uh, all everything basically you sell here needs to be imported, and that means it costs you like an arm and a leg. So much money, and I want to build something, but I'm not entirely certain that there's anything like really worth it at this point. Nope, I don't think there is. could deal with the pollution of this. Hmm. Ah, let's just leave it for one. And yeah, uh, getting rid of that shack village, I didn't need to do anything with my police. 
place fast. Still only two guys keeping all the shit safe. This place, however, not so safe. Really wondering if I can ever get like, completely rid of these silly, silly shacks. Because there's still space here. Oh well, all I can hope for is that um, as soon as I get the metro terminal here, the quickness of the travel to this portion of the map will cause these people to move in here. Ooh, I just noticed I have blah money out of my ears. So let's go and get the cathedral going. I know this placement is horrible, but yeah. I don't care. I just want the bloody thing placed so my people can begin to increase their religious happiness, which is the only the seriously sore spot right now. Uh, in addition to job quality, but yeah, all all I can do about that is raise people's income levels, and uh, I'm sure I can actually do that. Well, yeah, I can do something something with it. So that and maybe that. This will uh, end up costing me a lot of money, but I'm kind of hoping that it'll not exactly end up paying for itself, but Uh, as as I increase the wages of people, they can uh, visit these entertainment buildings a lot more, which will hopefully cause uh, them to turn profit. Income levels shouldn't be the limiting factor with people moving to these. Uh, better, better housing thingamajigs, apartments, modern apartment complexes, if you wish. And yeah, I think I'll improve the job quality here by paying like five thousand, simply to get these folks. That th this will be full, fully staffed all the time. But uh, by that, I could increase the job quality to but semi-decent levels. This cannery is actually just horrible right now. It was excellent when I got it uh, in terms of job quality and wages paid, but right now it's... Uh, I can afford to pay my high school educated people a bit better. Same with this one. This is actually horrible. <laughs> And luckily it allowed me to change this to handguns, which means that uh, the this doesn't impact uh, foreign relations with US and USSR. I don't care at all about the uh, ma amount of manufacture this thing does, because I'm not allowing it imports, so it will never produce anything until it goes bankrupt. So it actually brings me some money. Huh. Weird. No, I'm not complaining. Some money is better than no money. And almost finished with the cathedral. And yeah, this has... Oh, there was someone living here for just tiny, tiny amount of time. Imagine that. Presidente, it seems that some of the mm -hmm. rebels have fled with terror from the island after seeing a horrible beast, which they think is the Chupacabra <laughs> himself. <laughs> oh. oh, this is just brilliant. I've never had this event before. I'm loving it. La Chupacabra. <laughs> oh, so that got rid of some of my um, rebels. For me. <laughs> oh, it's just hilarious. Ok, 
Okay. Uh, it would appear that uh, I'm getting a decent, decent income right now. I have some good news, sir. So I'll actually bump up. Vote El Presidente, or else. Incomes all around, just a bit. Simply in the hopes that I'll get some visitors into these uh, entertainment buildings soonish. is something I should have built ages ago. This is also something there's really no point in, like it doesn't matter where you place it, uh, every place is just as good. Yeah. Let's go with field trips. So initial skill in a random profession. Because right now uh, I'm not allowing immigration but we have 83 children. Yeah, so our population might not be growing, but it's staying pretty, pretty much the same. It's decent. And with this, all native uh, tropicans uh, who become of age will be more useful to the population as well also provides a couple of jobs and doesn't cost me an arm and a leg to maintain. So just like, uh, I think it's... I'll actually do two, two of these. Right next to each other. Because... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I got 80 kids and... Uh, this... Yeah, I can take care of like a quarter of all the kids in my island with these. <laughs> Presidente, I just got a call from a foreign investor. Several calls actually, with Horrible different proposals. Wages. Decent wages, run distillery, or a modern apartment block which probably charges an arm and a leg from my citizens. Let's go with the rum distillery and just let it burn. Right yeah, this is as good place as any to build this one. Yep, we go there. There's no hurry with this one, I'll do these first. Where's my mirror, president? Mirror, I haven't seen a key in Who's the Why don't you go and visit a cabaret? See some dirty dancing. Ah, sip of juice there. Well, yes, more college educated folks, so the cathedral can go at full swing and onto the hospital. Yeah, the preventative. Uh, Medicine is the hands down the best option. The twenty percent less often uh, people need to visit your hospitals. Yeah, it means you need less hospitals, means you pay less wages, less upkeep, less everything. Uh, in increased lifespan? Meh. Nah. I mean. That sounds like hor horribly you cool, but at some point, people just become, charm. in this game setting, obsolete. Like, and when they become retired, they just, yeah, they sit around in the house and maybe use one of your entertainment buildings at sometimes. So, mm, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, uh, obstret, uh, I have absolutely no idea how to pronounce that. Obstetrics? Anyway, uh, the chance that women become pregnant... Uh, as you saw just 
like a second ago, I don't have the problem with <laughs> kids. I have loads and loads of children in the island. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Don't you go Who's visit the, the hospital and the, the ruler of them all? But yeah, uh, now that I finished these and these are almost fully staffed, service quality is decent. It's still not as high as with the clinic because these doctors are really experienced. Same here. But uh, these will climb in service quality more quickly because there are four workers who are gaining skills rapidly. And yeah, this should like our uh, religious satisfaction and healthcare satisfaction ju should just whoosh, shoot up. So yes, 61, and this uh, costs 10,000 and adds 100 more megawatts. Just, uh, check again. Again, we are at 30,000, so we can do some some buildings again. I wonder if I can fit this somewhere here. Unfortunately, not. That that would have been a good place for it, but nah. Hmm. Let's see. Sport complex and zoo would be nice to build, but they are really big, so it take a really large amount of space. I don't think I have a nightclub yet. Probably done year ish. Yeah. Again, with a huge entry fee. And I think I'll pay for the apartment blocks. Place one there. I'm not uh, hurting for space right now. I think I will open up the immigration for just a moment. Because I believe I will be able to provide uh, a few more jobs relatively soon. Sanatorium. I completely and uh, completely forgot about that point portion of the modern times thing. Yeah, let's do that. It costs a lot, and I believe that uh, it won't pay for itself. But the fact that I can do the healthcare reform and um, if you didn't uh, have time to read it, uh, increases the number of visitor slots for healthcare facilities. So my hospital and my clinic and also if I decide to keep my sanatorium, all of these can handle more visitors with the same amount of staff. I had completely forgotten about that. Damn it! That that would have been brilliant to get a bit earlier. And yeah, the main reason to build a sanatorium is uh, turning it 
uh, to rehab and <laughs> like milking all your tourists for like <laughs> ridiculous amounts of money. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to increase respect usually. Yeah, as long as uh, I'm not going the tourism route, the pre preventative medicine is the only real choice. Unfortunately, costing me a lot of money, but what can you do? I'm really hoping that the metro tunnel here and some uh, more apartment buildings near these places will mean that this will draw in more people. But yeah, this place is just. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if this was finished like just a minute ago or if this uh Yeah, cuz the job quality was decent and the wages are decent, so be really surprised if this uh, place didn't get more stuff. Pretty soon. Yeah, I need to definitely keep that in mind that Sanatorium offers the modern times buff edict. Some other edicts. Oh, this would reduce pollution around this place. Ooh. I need to enact pollution standards. Yeah. Yeah, raise the upkeep of factories. Crazy, didn't you? Yeah, let's As go you. with. I am very pleased to report that Tropico is issuing air pollution standards. Penultimo, tell us more. The new standard clearly specifies that no more than five. <laughs> Environmental is a zero because I allow lumber camps. As you can see, this is a huge step forward. I wish I hadn't heard that. Let's go with that. Fellow Tropicans, I want to stress the great progress we have made. Production has increased but yeah, steadily, this exceeding 25% in some areas. More than a bit silly. I tell you, we will complete the five-year plan Oh, okay, so it's not in only logging years. industry. This is progress. Uh, high pollution. And, yes. uh... One garbage jump per 2,000 tropicals, so problems, especially in the current economic I have situation. one garbage dump, the they want me to have two. About which I hear so me. much these days is one of them. And it will be resolved, as will all others, in time, as the global economy stabilizes through the years of my presidency. I have received your gratitude. Yeah, as soon as uh, the sanatorium gets done, uh, I'll begin the health reform. And, and you if by the e end of that, uh, I think it was two to four now years before it kicks in, if this place hasn't turned uh, profit or at least like, al almost paid for itself, I will just. Yeah, I, I'll demolish it, I don't care. At that point, my hospital and clinic should be able no to take care of. No one can deny the amazing development that has happened in Tropico within just one mandate. 
I have an even more astonishing future in ah, store this is for the all of you. In my next silly and irritating I thing, I should constantly be pocketing money for myself. I don't do that. There's no point. In the end, we will prevail. Yeah, perhaps I get some money to my Swiss bank account some strange place. I don't know. I may or may not do that. Yeah, with these uh, farms, since I need to demolish them and uh, build more bio farms, this will happen instantly as soon as I fulfill this. I may uh, like build them out so this is completely filled and some of this is filled so that this will go bankrupt in time. It has produced like a completely ridiculous amounts of money for its owners though so it may just keep chugging along which would be fine by me I, I, mean, I don't I don't mind having a single farm in the middle of my town. <laughs> Especially since not a single unit of its produce is anything that I can export or use in any of my industrial buildings or anything. Sanatorium is getting done. Yeah, I think as uh, money is still coming in the decent clip, I'll increase the amount of wages I can pay for my people. Customers. That's slightly irritating. I mean, this place probably doesn't get uh, enough visitors since uh, it's not next to a road. for example yes and uh, right now entry fee of eight when even my lowest paid people make 12 should be doable especially with like uh, high school educated making 15 college educated making 20 I'm not worried about bumping uh, the income, f like the wages for college educated folk, because the job quality is inherently so much better. I don't need to be raising this for some time, because high school educated job quality, 56, uh, 47, 66, 66, 54, so yeah. The rich will keep getting 20 for their wages a long time. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the prettiest ruler of them all? Don't go to high school, go to hospital. Five more immigrants. Let's check the unemployed. Oh, I don't have any unemployment. Ah, it's because, uh, because of this rum distillery and such. Okay. I can live with it. Oh, I don't have an investment opportunity. Presidente, I just I got a call from a foreign cigar investor. For Several calls, actually, with different proposals. 
cannery. Decent wages. Might be able to roll with this with the fisheries I have, but hmm. it's an interesting dilemma. Which one should I take? If I'm going the route I've done, I've been going. It's obviously best idea to take the cigar factory from China, so it'll just go bankrupt, and I don't have to worry about it at all. Mm. Screw it. Let's just do that. <laughs> Beginning to be a kind of a problem where I place this stuff. I done screwed up. I done screwed up big time. Well, that's me shooting myself in the leg. They share imports. I can't set imports for one factory. I can only set imports for one factory type. So yeah, now some of the tobacco imports I pay Couple of uh, fire up to seven and a half thousand each time stuff is coming in. Half of them is going to go here, half is going to go here. With this one giving me money and this giving me crap. Yeah, the derp, I has it. It is in me. It makes me powerful. More powerful than you could possibly imagine. Uh. Okay, on that note, I think it's time we end this episode. Join me again next time for some more Tropico goodness. See you later. Bye for now. <laughs>